Tesla's autonomous driving tech, also known as full self-driving FSD, is powered by its Tesla Vision system, relying on eight cameras, way more eyeballs than any human driver. This vision-only setup, fueled by cutting-edge neural networks, tackles tough weather like rain, fog or snow, processing real-time visuals to navigate tricky conditions. But extreme weather can push its limits, just like humans under such conditions. But this has sparked hot debates about vision-based self-driving cars in wild climates. Curious how Tesla's camera-only approach holds up? You're not the only one. Over on Inside EVs, Tesla wants to deploy robo-taxis. Federal investigators have questions. Safety investigators are particularly interested in how Tesla's cars would handle poor weather conditions. The National Highway Safety Administration, NHTSA, has sent Tesla a comprehensive list of questions regarding the automaker's robo-taxi rollout. Specifically, federal safety investigators want to know how Tesla's so-called full self-driving, supervised, advanced driver assistance system operates in poor weather conditions such as sun glare, fog, airborne dust, rain or snow. This is something experts have questioned about their EV makers' self-driving taxi efforts ever since the steering wheel-less Cybercab debuted last year. Currently, Tesla's FSD software relies on several video cameras to see the road. Despite its name, the system is yet to be autonomous because the driver needs to keep their hands on the steering wheel. Well, Tesla's FSD requires constant driver monitoring, but the specific requirements to keep hands on the steering wheel has evolved somewhat. Tesla uses a combination of steering wheel torque detection and interior driver-facing camera in newer models to ensure the driver is paying attention. If the system detects inattention, it issues warnings and may temporarily disable FSD. However, drivers are not always required to keep their hands on the steering wheel at all times, as long as the system confirms they are monitoring the road. So when I tested the Cybertruck's FSD capabilities, it did not require that I touch the steering wheel at all and drove for hours around Las Vegas and across to Utah. With the system constantly checking that I was paying attention and ready to take over using the internal camera, if it was not able to see my eyes, it would have requested that I put a little pressure on the steering wheel every 10 seconds or so to show my attentiveness. Tesla's vision-only approach, powered by its full self-driving system and Tesla Vision, is a winning strategy because it mirrors how humans drive, using cameras just like our eyeballs and a brain, a neural network, to process visual data in real time. With eight high-resolution cameras, Tesla's system captures far more visual input than human eyes, feeding it into advanced neural networks that mimic human decision-making but with greater speed and precision. This streamlined, camera-based method avoids the complexity of integrating multiple sensor types, enabling faster software updates and adaptability to diverse conditions, much like a human learns from experience. As first reported by Reuters, not exactly known for their factual Tesla stories, just last month Reuters reported Tesla faced a class action lawsuit alleging it sped up odometers to void warranties faster, despite the claim lacked evidence, was sensationalised and no definitive proof of systematic manipulation was provided. Might this be an isolated dispute blown out of proportion by Reuters? consistent with their history of contested Tesla reporting. Personally, I can't help to be suspicious of anything I read from them nowadays. Anyway, as first reported by Reuters, the NHTSA wants to know the NHTSA, that sounds weird, doesn't it? The NHTSA wants to know what hardware and software systems Tesla will use in the development and deployment of its robo-taxi service, as well as Tesla's position on the SAE level classification. Currently, FSD supervised is classified as a level two system on the Society of Automotive Engineers levels of automation chart. Let's take a quick look. For a vehicle to be considered autonomous, it has to be classified as level three at minimum. This way, the driver is not responsible for the car's actions. If you want to read this, pause the video and check out the differing levels of autonomy. But in brief, every Tesla today is level two, as you must constantly supervise these supporting features. You must steer, brake or accelerate as needed to maintain safety. In a cyber cab with no pedals or steering wheel, so no option to take over, level four autonomy necessarily needs to be reached. 
Furthermore, the NHTSA has requested answers on multiple topics, including how Tesla is monitoring disengagements of the self-driving system, how many disengagements and interventions have been recorded so far, and how emergency situations would be handled. So, how is Tesla monitoring disengagements of the self-driving system? Tesla tracks when drivers take over from FSD, using sensors and software to log these events. They compare this to older systems like Autopilot to improve performance. How many disengagements and interventions have been recorded so far? Tesla haven't publicly shared exact numbers, but during Tesla's Q1 2025 earnings call on April the 22nd, 2025, Elon Musk discussed the progress of Tesla's full self-driving system, specifically mentioning a 10,000 mile metric in the context of safety and interventions. He stated that Tesla's current self-driving technology, being tested in Austin, would require driving 10,000 miles on average before an accident or intervention occurs. This was used to illustrate the improving reliability of FSD, suggesting the system is becoming safer as it achieves longer distances between critical events. Just how long before this reaches 100,000 miles, a million miles, without the need to intervene? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. And how will emergency situations be handled? Well, Tesla must explain. Its robo-taxis will deal with accidents, system failures or other emergencies. They'll include emergency stop protocols. So, a few things. Auto-halt. AI detects hazards, for example collisions or pedestrians, and stops instantly. A passenger button. Physical or touchscreen button for passengers to trigger an emergency stop. And a remote override. Teleoperations allow remote operators to stop the vehicle in complex scenarios. And finally, a fail-safe mode. System automatically pulls over or stops if a critical fault is detected. So yes, cybercabs will be able to be teleoperated by humans for remote human intervention in complex scenarios like accidents or unusual conditions. And a quick reminder that last month Tesla AI posted this. FSD supervised ride hailing service is live for an early set of employees in Austin and San Francisco Bay Area. We've completed over 1,500 trips and 15,000 miles of driving. This service helps us develop and validate FSD networks, the mobile app, vehicle allocation, mission control and remote assistance operations. All this of course leading to the RoboTaxi service being initiated for public use this June. Like and subscribe and I'll let you know and keep you up to date with everything. The letter was sent after Tesla posted a message on one of its X accounts last month claiming that its early access robotaxi service is already live in Austin, Texas and then the San Francisco Bay Area. The company said that it had completed over 1,500 trips and had covered 15,000 miles. Currently, the service is only available to Tesla employees and the car's regular Model Y crossovers have a safety driver. This service helps us develop and validate FSD networks, the mobile app, vehicle allocation, mission control and remote assistance operation the company said in its message. Tesla CEO Elon Musk claimed that when the service is fully operational, the cars will use a yet-to-be-released unsupervised version of the FSD software. The long list of questions sent by federal safety investigators comes after the NHTSA opened an investigation into Tesla's FSD supervised system in October, following four reported crashes in low visibility conditions. But the clue's in the name there, isn't it? It's still supervised. The driver must pay attention and take full responsibility for the use and misuse of the system. Until the system is using the yet-to-be-released unsupervised version of the FSD software, or until you're sat in a cyber cab without a steering wheel or pedals, that's when you know you are no longer responsible for the vehicle's actions. All this is very exciting, of course, as we are inching closer towards autonomous cars and robo-taxis, which will save millions of lives by being smarter than as humans. No more cock-ups from texting at the wheel, dozing off or blasting through a red light when you weren't paying attention. Their AI and sensors will spot hazards sharpish, cutting down the 1.3 million yearly road deaths. It'll be affordable, with no drivers keeping costs lower than your usual fare. It'll be more pleasant too. Watch a film or chill while the car glides along. It'll be safer, cheaper, more comfortable, making trips or commuting a proper treat. Of course, it takes a little imagination right now, but we are on the cusp, or should I say Tesla, are on the verge of changing transportation forever. And as for fog, snow and serious weather conditions, well of course the system will adjust its speed and take extra precautions and worst case slow to a crawl or even stop entirely for the sake of safety, just like a sensible human would, or not. 
If you enjoy my videos, please do consider joining my Patreon page for as little as a dollar a month to show your support. And for that, you'll get extra content from me and much more stuff if you join at a higher level, like my monthly Ask Me Anythings, my unfiltered views, extra videos, a weekly poll, meetup opportunities, and even your name in the end credits like this. Go to patreon.com forward slash Tesla Jigsaw, take a look around. Your support is much appreciated. If you missed this video, it's a belter. Check it out next. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.